Hey, what's up? I'm Melissa. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how to use dancing to your advantage. Get technical with me really quick. <clears throat> the proper definition for dance is to move or seem to move up and down or about in a quick or lively manner. A dictionary, okay. So basically, the dictionary says dancing is this. But notice how nowhere in the definition it said that you could use dancing for the greater good of society. I've been dancing ever since I was like a little kid. I was probably dancing in the womb. Who knows? Dancing has a lot of potential and no one sees it. A couple weeks ago, I was at the local grocery store with my dad. I had gotten a pimple on my chin. As he was shopping for some cans, he suddenly turns and asks me, Hey girl, what's up? Where your acne be at, though? Um, on my face. That's exactly how it went, by the way. He had the audacity to ask me how my acne was doing in the middle of the whole grocery store. One of the things that most teenagers are kind of totally obsessively paranoid about. So in my head, I go through the list of things I could do. A, punch him in the gut. B, punch him in the gut. C, punch him in the gut. Or D, dance. With my eye contact locked on his, I proceeded to lift my arms and peer away myself right through the fruit section. Maybe you best believe. Sure, I knocked a few oranges down along the way. But I did that shit with style. To which he responded with complete disdain, shaking his head and moving on to the pros and goods. And he didn't ask me about it again. All you had to do is break out into dance. Imagine the power that you could have with just dancing in this kinds of situations. Uh, Mr. President, we seem to be having national issues. I've got the files right here. You need to get started on these ASAP. Um, yeah, about that. Essentially, you control the universe. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility, and there can be repercussions if dancing is used unwisely. I remember when I was really young and I used to go to summer camp, we had some sort of dance-off. Of course, I dropped the beat, I totally went all out, like, girl, you know me. But there was this one girl, and she was wearing a white shirt, her name was also Melissa. What a poser, am I right? She was super hot. And we were friends, and, you know, I totally convinced her to just get in there, you know, give us all she got. And she, um... He gave us a little more than we expected. At some point, the sprinklers turned on and she slipped on the water and she fell face flat into the grass. When she got up, she was as soaked as a... I'm gonna let you guys finish that simile because it could go a lot of ways. Her white soaking shirt revealed two beautiful nipples. Of course, immediately my fourth grade brain went, ew, nipples. But in retrospect, I was like, dang. I hope mine turn out like that. So, be careful with what you got, especially if you're flaunting it in front of everybody and dance and you have uh, water spewing around you in all directions. Take this advice wisely, my children, and let dance better your life or embarrass you for the rest of your life. Bye.